Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Controversial FSG and Liverpool vindicated as Jurgen Klopp favourite proved point versus Newcastle in a small circle of the inner depths of social media. There were moans and groans when James Milner's name surfaced in the starting 11 on the team sheet. His name evoked trepidation from a few and indignation from many self proclaimed supporters of the club. Such emotions were undoubtedly unfounded. Milner is a player after all who is staunchly supported by Jurgen Klopp and who has been a linchpin and a stalwart servant of the team for the last seven years. Consistent and reliable, he hardly lets you down and always wears his heart on his sleeve. On paper, he is the epitome of exactly the type of player everyone wants to have in your team. He possesses the quintessential traits that should make him a fan favourite. He is loyal, bold and able to put his body on the line when necessary. Read more, six things spotted in Liverpool win at Newcastle as Nappy Keita goal proves Jurgen Klopp bright. Read more, Liverpool have unthinkable Man City and Pep Guardiola edge and Jurgen Klopp just proved it again yet, in the past season, his critics have grown and grown. Sure. Milner is getting older but age is just a number and no one exemplifies that more than the Liverpool vice-captain. Even at 36, Milner has shown no signs of decline or slowing down. Against Newcastle, he was there competing for every loose ball and running rampant at the heart of midfield for three quarters of the game. It was a valiant display and the kind that was necessary for Liverpool to get the job done. Milner's ability to get stuck in a disrupt Newcastle United's rhythm was vital in Liverpool's success on Saturday afternoon. He won four ground duels, four tackles and all of his three aerial duels. Crucially, he made the same number of tackles and his fellow midfield partners, Jordan Henderson and Naby Keita combined. Speaking of the latter, it was Milner's cleverly timed tackle that instigated the attack for Liverpool's only goal in the game. Milner's lunge on Fabian Scar may have looked like a contentious challenge at first glance, but the replays clearly showed the Liverpool midfielder timed his challenge to perfection and won the ball with a clever poke before the Newcastle defender could get to it. It was a performance that was worthy of Milner to be awarded BT Sport's Man of the Match award, and one that highlighted his ability and the reason why FSG are willing to offer a further year extension to his current deal which expires in this summer, even though at his age FSG are normally reluctant to offer extensions. In the aftermath, Klopp didn't he hide his admiration for the Milner either when asked if he met a fitter 36-year-old than Milner. He even compared him to Real Madrid's Luca Madri. It would be interesting to look at Luca Madri. 36 as well, a good generation, Klopp said. He is hard to be fitter, he is a role model. Everything we've achieved WOULD and TB possible without James Milner. Klopp has made it clear he wants Milner to remain at Anfield next season, and after a performance like that it is hard to disagree keeping him around the squad would not be a benefit to Liverpool. After all, players like Milner are rare. As long as he is still fit and competent, Liverpool should appreciate what they have for as long as possible. When it comes to a new contract, the ball is in Milner's court. If he wants to stay, then he will be allowed to, because with players like him, you only notice what you truly had when they are gone.